Behind me you see the Liberty Village Respite Shelter, which has been in operation since the Christmas time of this past year. And it's already wreaking havoc in this uh, law-abiding, revitalized neighborhood. The center, which uh, has capacity for a hundred low barrier residents, which means they can bring their drugs in and they uh, can bring their pets in, um, costs $105 per bed per night. And the actual structure, the sprung structure, is was $2.5 million. People living here who are part of the Liberty Village Residents Association have held a number of public meetings already uh, concerned with what's going on, whether it be vandalism, um, people loitering at night, dirty needles, um, people feeling unsafe to walk through the community, so unsafe that they've started a safety walk at 6.30 in the morning. One resident we talked to has been thrown out of the shelter for a month for not speaking kindly to uh, one of the workers, said that ambulances are here almost daily to deal with people who are overdosing on drugs. A nail salon owner around the corner has been vandalized three times, three times in the last six months. Not once before that in the eight years she was in business. Right now, you know, uh, I'm a little scary. And this, folks, is what happens when our city officials plunk low barrier shelters into a community that is otherwise law-abiding and try to mingle residents with severe problems with people who are just trying to live their lives. It's a recipe for disaster. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Sue Ann Levy.